a six-month-old baby? <laughs> well, no one cares. Uh, no one cares. You tell people, I had a baby, and they're like, why? <laughs> L.A. fucking hates kids. <laughs> hates kids. Why'd you have a baby? I don't know. You guys said we needed voters. <laughs> So I made a voter and then I registered him 12 times. Cause if you have a baby and you're not willing to commit voter fraud, then you don't fucking care about this country. Yeah, my baby's a cab. Anytime he hears a helicopter, he puts his little baby middle finger to the sky. I'm trying to get um, back in shape post having baby. I'm still breastfeeding, so I have these huge boobs. Uh, <laughs> wild. It's it's honestly not fair to the other comedians that I come up here with just oh guys. Uh, <laughs> and I'm trying to get the rest like down. Like the fact that I'm in pants right now is thrilling. Uh, whenever I'm sitting in pants, I unbutton the top button. <laughs> Classic, you gotta. I deserve happiness, you know? <laughs> Whenever I go to the movies, I unbutton and unzip. <laughs> and then I'm usually too high to remember I did that. <laughs> so then I'm just walking out of the movies and people are like, wow. <laughs> she really liked Rise of Gru. <laughs> yeah. You see that nose and wah! <laughs> It got me excited. I, uh, I, I'm married. I, I had, I, yes, I am, I am married. Um, no applause on that. Thank you. Uh, you should, uh, truly, I was such a slut that people, when they find out I'm married, they're like, you got married? I'm like, yeah. It's like they're seeing a paraplegic walk for the first time. There's like, there's hope. Okay, if she did it, there's hope. Uh, I got married. I did like the classic bridal thing. I got really hot for our wedding. Mm -hmm. That's a rule we've created in society. You gotta get in the best shape of your life to fuck the same person. <laughs> a person who is emotionally and financially invested in you. You must lose 17 pounds or else. It's like, why? Because my uncles are gonna be there? <laughs> It makes no sense. Getting hot for your wedding, it's counterintuitive. It's like renovating a house and then never inviting anyone over. I'm sorry, you redid the living room? You got a pool put in? You throw a party. I got abs? I'd like to have sex with a fireman. And then there was a pandemic, so I had this hot body. I got married right before the pandemic, three months before lockdown, yes. So my husband kept calling our wedding a buzzer beater. <laughs> that romantic phrase. <laughs> he ended his vows by yelling, it's dame time. <laughs> so then I was just hot, trapped in the house with my husband, like a fucking loser. <laughs> I'm from Indiana. I thought I was taking that bot on the road. <laughs> and then I got pregnant. That was stupid. <laughs> There's so many rules when you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, you're not allowed to have deli meat. <laughs> yeah. This is why we're so pissed off. <laughs> what? A man in a hoodie? What? <laughs> Buckle up, I'm about to blow your fucking mind. <laughs> you heard about Roe v. Wade, my man? <laughs> Tons of rules when you're pregnant. Not allowed to have deli meat. I'm from Indiana, I'm made of deli meat. I was furious, and of course, what am I craving? Ham, the whole time. I thought about naming my baby Jersey Mike. <laughs> So I call my mom, I go, mom, listen, I gotta have a ham sandwich. And she goes, do me a favor, before you eat it, microwave it. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm not microwaving a ham sandwich. Also, if he can't survive ham, he's not gonna make it out here. <laughs> We're on year three of a pandemic. We got monkeypox just rolling right on in. And you're telling me some honey baked is gonna take him out? <laughs> well then take him out. <laughs> Okay, that's evolution. <laughs> We're doing rolling admissions in my womb. Next man up, like a wounded NFL team. <laughs> I'm 
I'm obsessed with all my friends' sex lives. Because I'm married, it's like reached the point where I'm like excited if my husband has to use his inhaler afterwards. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I really laid it down. Uh, <laughs> puff, puff. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the that's the 36 year old puff puff pass. Just a just a prescription inhaler. Only one of you has a prescription to. I'm like, let me get a hit of that. <laughs> He'll be proud of that one. Makes it seem like he put it in work. Okay. <laughs> one of my friends, she called me last week. She was like, I just had the most incredible rough sex. I got spanked, choked, thrown around. And then she goes, well, his dick didn't really work. I'm like, oh, yeah, you just got beat up. <laughs> Like, you missed the best part. <laughs> you just had the rough. <laughs> but I was like, I want to be supportive. I like that she rebranded it, you know? <laughs> she finally put that marketing degree to use. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's like having diarrhea and you didn't even get to go to Benihana. <laughs> if you don't get a shrimp tossed in your mouth, are you even fucking, you know? <laughs> Wild time for men. Ooh. <laughs> Remember when I yelled at you? <laughs> About abortion? You're like, what? I'm in a furniture store. <laughs> Wild time for men. Are you guys scared? Boo, you should be. We fucking hate you. <laughs> I'm just, ah, women said cheers. Ah! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We don't hate you. We don't care enough about you. Uh, <laughs> We don't hate you. I don't hate all men. I don't. My husband's a man. My baby's a man. My brothers are men. You know, they're good. They're good. I don't hate all men. I definitely don't. I don't think all men are bad either. I do think men that get their own name put on jerseys, those men are bad. <laughs> yeah, if you have a custom Chargers jersey that says Kowalski on the back of it, you fingered someone while they were asleep. <laughs> I'm not getting in a lift with you, my man. <laughs> I was getting ready to go uh, perform at a barn in northern Wisconsin. I'll do autographs after. Uh, and they emailed me ahead of time and they were like, we just want to warn you, you might not do very well here because our audiences don't respond positively to female-centered humor. <laughs> I was like, well, okay, <laughs> let me take off these tampon earrings. <laughs> I was like, what, what do you think I'm gonna do? Give birth on stage? <laughs> I'd email ahead of time and be like, I'm gonna need some towels. Uh, and then I started to get really offended because I was like, I don't feel like my jokes are female centered. I don't even buy into that anymore. You know, that it's just like men and women, trucks and Barbies, pink and blue. Like, I like tons of stuff that's traditionally masculine. I love sports. I love chicken wings. I love tricking people into going down on me. <laughs> I'm a good dude. <laughs> This is my trick, this is my trick. Okay, men, close your eyes, I go. Okay, this is my trick, I go. No, 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 <laughs> you go first. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get you back. <laughs> and that's feminism. Um, you guys have been so fun, enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah.